The information presented in this video is for high level awareness only. This is not intended to serve as training. Stratus configuration remains under development. Any features shown in this video are subject to change. After a requisition has been approved, you may want to review the requisition. Check on the status of the resulting purchase order, see if the requisition has been received against, or if any invoicing has taken place. In Stratus, we call this the life cycle of a requisition. From the home screen, you'll navigate to the procurement module from the hamburger menu in the upper left corner, or the sliding taskbar in the center of the screen. Once you've selected procurement, you'll click purchase requisitions. You'll be presented with some information tiles for things like recent requisitions, recent purchases, and request forms. There is also a section for purchasing news, where the procurement office can post any newly executed contracts, policy updates, or other helpful information. In this case, we'll focus on recent requisitions. You may be looking for information about a requisition that appears in your recent requisitions. You'll simply click on the requisition number. In this case, we don't see the requisition we are looking for in recent requisitions. We'll need to click on the View More link. After clicking View More, you'll be prompted to complete some search criteria. In this case, we're searching by the requester name and clicking Search. We've located what we are looking for, Requisition 172, for microscopes. We have two choices to view more information. We can click the requisition number or the order number. We'll first click the order number. From the purchase order screen, you can view a PDF of the purchase order. Attachments, notes, lines, distributions, and any other available detail. In the upper right hand corner, you can see a visual representation of the life cycle of the order. And for our purposes, we'll be concerned with ordered, received, and invoiced. However, you may want greater detail than this. If you return back to the search results, you'll now click on the requisition number. From here, you'll see a lot of the same information from the order, except for the addition of a View Life Cycle button in the upper right corner, and a circle graphic for the line life cycle at the end of each requisition line. We'll first click on the View Life Cycle in the upper right hand corner. From this life cycle, you'll see information for order, receiving receipts, and invoicing for all of the requisition lines aggregated together. For example, invoice 8765 may be for line 2, and invoice 7431 may be for line 1. If you haven't noticed already, the order, receipts, and invoices are all clickable. If you want to view more information, simply click the links. If you want to view by line, you'll return back to the requisition and click on the circle graphic for the line life cycle at the end of the requisition line. From here, you're now viewing the life cycle for just line number one, where we can see receiving took place through receipt 18 and invoicing took place with invoice number 7431. For more information, please visit our website, towson.edu stratus.